You get stressed because you procrastinate and you procrastinate more because you get stressed, right? Does this cycle make you feel depressed and lazy? I know it's hard, but don't worry, there is a solution to this cycle. Stress and procrastination. First of all, the reason for your depression as a result of your procrastination habit is that you have a can't-do mentality. Like every human being, I used to have this problem. It was a very difficult time for me. I even started doubting my own abilities. Then I found a solution. I realized that it wasn't about the work I was procrastinating, because procrastinating is harder than doing it. The stress caused by procrastination drains all our energy. With the methods I'm going to talk about, you'll be able to do the things you've been putting off and still have time for other activities that you've been putting off and stressing about. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can stop the video and subscribe. The role of stress. Is stress our enemy? Why do we feel stressed? Stress is actually very important and very beneficial for human beings. I can imagine that you are surprised because you always hear negative things about it. How can something that makes you feel bad be good? There's only one reason. You don't know what stress is and how to use it, so you think it's bad. Of course, everything in excess is bad for you. In fact, stress is an evolved system for human survival. It is thanks to it that man has survived to this day. Imagine you are one of the first humans to live on Earth. You are surrounded by dozens of dangerous and predatory creatures that can harm you. And because technology has not developed, the only thing you can use to fight them is your physical strength. When you are being chased by a predator, the stress you have to survive releases adrenaline into your body, which increases your physical capacity and makes you run much faster. This makes you very tired because you're using up all the resources of your body. So it's harder on you mentally and physically. Nowadays, the more you stress yourself out by putting things off, the more you feel like you're being chased by those predators every day. That's why procrastination hurts you. How do we overcome it? First of all, you have to know that when we're under stress, we can't use our full potential. Why do worse things under pressure when I can use my full potential effectively? If it's something I have to do anyway, if I complete it at the first opportunity I have, the work will be of high quality and I will be happier because I don't face stress, planning and organization. Worrying about what we have to do takes longer than doing it. The philosopher Seneca said, we suffer more often in our dreams than in reality. Because when we are stressed, we want to do other things that make us happy so that we can cope with that stress. Even if it momentarily saves us from suffering, the suffering increases because we put it off again. Organizing things, write down the things you need to do on a piece of paper and set deadlines. This will reduce the clutter in your mind. Then figure out how many hours you need to work on each task. You can estimate that. Some jobs may take one, two hours. Some may take 10, 20 hours. Getting short jobs done. You can use techniques like deep work to complete short tasks that take two, three hours at a time. If you have trouble focusing, you can use the Pomodoro technique to complete your work in 25 minute periods. I suggest you watch my video where I talk about the Pomodoro technique, breaking long tasks into chunks. You can break up tasks that you can't finish in one go. The important thing is not to break it into too many pieces, because if you break a task into too many parts, it will cause you to stress again because it will scare you. Fragmentation techniques. It is a good choice to do small pieces of work that are related to each other or that you can do in the same place. It is ideal to do things in a single session that will not strain you mentally and physically and will not tire you out too much. Example, when I make these videos for you, I go through a multi-step procedure. If I cram all these procedures into one day, it will be too much for me. I can do it all in one day, but this will stress me too much and I will tend to procrastinate before I even start. On the other hand, if I try to do these procedures in 10 sessions, the work will be divided into so many parts that it will be hard for me to focus and I will procrastinate again. So when you divide your work wisely, you will save both time 
and motivation. Another related tip is to start with small pieces of work. Starting and completing what you are most likely to accomplish will activate the reward mechanism in your mind. This will also give you self-confidence, so you'll be more likely to complete other tasks. Perfectionism. Accept the fact that you can't do everything perfectly. To get rid of perfectionism, accept being good enough. Not everything has to be perfect, and sometimes imperfections add aesthetic value to your achievement. Be open to mistakes and love them, because you will learn from those mistakes and those lessons will make you more successful. Remember, practice makes you perfect. Take notes. Sometimes we have more than one thought in our minds. Things we have to do, problems with friends and family, planning our lives and so on cause a buzzing in our minds and the things we have to do pile up and become a mountain. In this chaos, we don't know what to do and our work becomes even more daunting. This is where taking notes is a great solution. When we write things down on a piece of paper or on the computer, our minds become less burdened, our thoughts become concrete and we see them more clearly. It becomes clearer what we need to do and what steps we need to take next. On the other hand, it also prevents forgetfulness. Sometimes it can take hours to remember what to do. When you follow these methods, you will remember your old self and feel sorry for him. You will question how you lived like this for so many years. You will experience the pleasure of not procrastinating, of getting things done on time much more often. And now that you don't procrastinate, you will have more time for other things you want to do or for the people around you. This will make you a happier person. When you are a happier and more peaceful person, you will procrastinate less. Sometimes we believe that we need huge changes to be successful. But in fact, it's the small details that change our lives. As I said in my video about the butterfly effect. Sometimes small changes lead to bigger changes. The important thing is to have great courage to make a small change and to take action. When you do nothing, your problems will grow, not your goals. If you're still watching this video, you know exactly what you have to do. So we shouldn't underestimate any achievement or any change. Finally, there are a few things I'd like to say to you. Thank you for your interest in my videos. I will be very happy if you like my videos and subscribe to the channel. I'm waiting for your opinions about my videos or your suggestions for new videos in the comments section. Keep improving until the next video.